Pressure and try and come up with some points that will give them the lead going into half time. Yeah, a really good opportunity for the Wallabies. That's a wasted opportunity for Wales there. Just no breeze, no weather conditions here. Just poor execution with that box kick going out over the sideline. Trying to be too cheeky to take a couple of inches. Just keep it in the field, put the pressure on the opposition, bring it back. A lot of now. Finds a target again. It's Higginbotham. Down it goes to Pocock and he gives it to Genia. Out to Barnes. Barnes dummy and straight through. Beric Barnes picked up brilliantly. Rob Horn and it is a try to the men in goal. What a moment and a testament to the way they played. So narrow and finally it opened up. They'd watched Barnes. It wasn't Genia this time to drain the dummy. It was Barnes. They'd watched him the whole half throwing it wide. Throwing it wide. Throwing it wide. You fall off him for a second and he took off and went through the man. Straight after he went through the line, Horn and McCabe stayed outside and it was, Mc... it was Horn who got the benefit. That ball there, the perfect line-out throw to Higginbotham. Beric Barnes beats Warburton all up for pace. Have a look at him. He had two men there who could tear away without being touched. It was Horn who got the benefit. Yeah, sustained pressure from the Wallabies. Just wonder, wonderful working through the spaces there. And Warburton fatigued from the opening 35 minutes of exchange, letting Beric Barnes walk through the easiest of holes. And the ever-present Rob Horn on his outside over for a very crucial try on the cut of half time for the Wallabies. If you equate it to boxing, they've been whacking the Welsh in the ribs. There's Bernard Cole, the Wallaby bench. Yes! Yes! And Kirtley Beale, Foley and Beale there on the reserves bench. Loving that moment. But it was like working the Welsh over with a series of rib punches and then finally delivering the knockout blow. It was this man who carved them up before sending it to Horn. And Barnes over it goes again.